Hi, it's Liam. Okay, so I had top surgery four months and 12 days ago. Uh, I've healed. I'm, I have scars, yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you how it went, what it, what it was like, what they gave me, and what I bought. Um, so, I, we drove, uh, I went to a GSR, GRS, uh, I don't know, Montreal, the, yeah, the doctor was, uh, Alex or something, the, the new doctor, the one that starts with an L. Um, so I, we drove to Montreal, it was very confusing for me to get to the hotel, it, the hotel that they sent us to was the one across from a mall. Uh, I was kind of confused about that, but it was okay. Uh, they had like a wake up call at 7 in the morning, they, I went downstairs, they called a taxi, Uber or whatever. Um, I personally didn't like that because the person who drove me didn't wear a mask and Montreal's not exactly the safest with COVID right now, at least from what I've heard, well at least at the time, and the guy wasn't wearing a mask. Um, so they drove me, I went in, they did the thingy to my forehead, I filled the, I went up to the table, they asked for my like tell, tell them that I got my COVID test they had trouble with finding because I'm from where I am not Montreal they I had to like show them the website for to f see that I'm negative um and then I had to fill out a bunch of papers there were like from the time that I went into the waiting room three other people were like went were in and then out upstairs um uh, I filled out the papers, there were a bunch of them. Some of them were com kind of confusing for me. They also did ask if it was okay for them to share my results. I said no because I didn't want to. Um, I, I will show you my chest sometime in the video. Um, I filled out the papers, I waited downstairs for like quite a while. I went upstairs, they took me into this like smallish area, they gave me um, I think like three, four pills, um, and like a little dinky cup of water to like take them with. Uh, I think, well I, I don't know what the rest of them were for, but one was like to settle my stomach because I have like anxiousness, cause I, I don't know, like. I don't remember what it's called, but I get like anxious and my stomach hurts. So, so I like I sometimes I take gravel because my stomach hurts because it's like upset. So they gave me pills. I what they gave me uh, when I left there. They took me to like the room with the beds, the hospital beds and stuff. They gave me a gown uh, and a uh, robe. I did not know the robe had, um, <laughs> this is something that's embarrassing to, for me, I went to the bathroom, I ended up dipping the robe, like, tie in the toilet before I went to the bathroom, oh, thank god I noticed before I went pee, but like, I, I, it went into the water, um, um, yeah, so you have to take off everything, like everything, everything, I have my ears gauged and I had to take those out, I don't know if that best of I don't know where the speaker is um but yeah so I had to take my earrings out too I had to take even my underwear off which was like something I didn't really enjoy because everything was cold also the room is freezing like freezing freezing like my toes like my one complaint about the whole like experience of waiting for like m like I, I it was at least two hours was that my toes were freezing my cat's eating. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I at least waited two hours. They peep like, um, the anesthesia, anesthesia person came, he's like an old dude. 
at least the one that I had. Uh, he was nice. I just agreed with what they were saying. I didn't really understand a lot of what they were asking. I just knew that I needed the surgery. So I agreed, I agreed, I agreed. I went, they took me to another room in this other section with like, they left the door open, which I thought was weird. And then there was like a, another person, another patient, they were just sitting on a chair. They had the prettiest hair, like so pretty. It was like long, like braided, and then like um, braided in red hair, most likely. It was really pretty to me at least. Okay, so um, when the surgeon guy came in, he shut the door. I had to take the top part off. I was concerned about the fucking gown falling. So I pretty much like pushed myself against the wall to hope that the gown would stay on. And I was just, and then he told me to like get away from the wall. And then I had to like hold my arms down holding the gown on. That's something I did not like. It made me feel very anxious. And I just didn't like the idea of like the gown falling because I didn't have underwear on. So there's that, and then he left, and then I think the nurse came to come and take me to the surgery, the operating room. They took my glasses, I believe they took my mask too. I had to hop up on the table, I'm short, so I went into the middle, I had to scoot my naked ass up the table to where the head was supposed to go and that was awkward <laughs> and then i i don't i am um, they took the gown and uh, the well the robe away before i got on the thing um it was very awkward and then uh i i clench my fist with my nails into my palm when i get needles but the person like put a thing on my finger when i was trying to do it because they were putting the needle in my hand and it was like stressful and then like for some reason I was like fighting the, <laughs> the mask I just remember that it was weird uh then I woke up in the what's it called uh, post-op area it was like it's a different room from the place where you first start out with the beds uh, I remember, like, with my blurry eyes, I saw a bunny in the window. It was not a bunny. I couldn't see. I did not have my, uh, handy dandy vision. <laughs> yeah, so that was... Yeah, um, I had, um, uh, these. I had two of these. They had ice inside. I used them for most of my recovery, for at least... A week at least because I needed because I liked the ice on my chest like I didn't really feel it like if I put ice on it like I can't really feel the cold like even still not really but when I touch my hand to it it's like oh my god that's really cold but yeah I bought ice packs like later on I I did have some problems after the surgery. I did get a blister on my... What do you want? Don't shoo shoo. Okay, so I ended up getting... I have... Here, my scar is a lot thicker. Here? Well, here, I got a blister. I believe it was from the... Um, that you got a ace bandage to bind yourself together they gave you one originally i bought two extra and changed what changed like changed to a new one when i felt like it was necessary because they didn't last that long they like deteriorated because <laughs> the clippy thingies got like messed up um they oh, okay so um i'm getting ahead of myself okay so you went to surgery you got back to the hotel you're supposed to have someone pick you up from that the taxi people take you there they don't take you back you have to have someone to pick you up so that you're not alone um they gave they gave me two of these and two of these i was bandaged up i had a uh, like one of these looking things on it and then there was like oh i had i had drains the jackson pat drains. they it turns out they go like they go up because I if I have the scar right there I have 
two. Also, I had uh, like a there they stitch on the inside, I believe, and then the stitches are on the inside, and then one of the stitches were like poking out of the side, and it was like not good. So I had to go to the doctors for that. I was I was going to go to the doctor for the blister that I got, but the it popped the day that like the night before I had my appointment. The, do the, like, person said it was completely okay. Um, but yeah, so I got sent away with two of these and two of these to the hotel. The next day, I... Oh, okay, so you get two of these. The ice will melt at the hotel. There is ice on the main floor, because hotels have that. Send whoever you're with to get more ice when it melts or when you feel like it's starting to like shallow because you'll want to refill those because I fell asleep with it on. I didn't sleep that well, but I did sleep very well in the car. <laughs> um, um, on the second day, you do have a post op like video call. Don't get so anxious about it like I did, because I could have went home <laughs> the day after the day of surgery, but I was anxious about missing the video call, which I wouldn't have. But yeah, and then they, you, you take your assistant person helper helps my sister. She helped take the thing off, helped take the. That it was like something like this, but not 100% the same, like taking it off. You have um, band-aids, like some of them, okay, some people have like these like pumpkin looking things on after surgery. I did not have that. I just had a band-aid, like, 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 like one of these kind of things. They're like small band-aid things, gauze, non-stick, stuck to your chest with a... Uh, Tegaderm, I think, on it, and then you have uh, all over the drain thingy. There was also like cottony gauze like stuff. Like if you get like the first aid kits, and then there's like that that white gauze that's for like injuries. Okay, it was like a, like a ball of it covering it. Be gentle. Don't be like me and stand up while the things weren't clipped on, because I uh, standed up with them not clipped onto anything, with the, the drains dangling, and then, I was like, oh my god, I'm crying! Yeah. It was very... an experience. Please do not have a freak out at the bed again. Release your paw. Release your paw. There's a fucking cabinet. Um, so yeah, the, the drains, I didn't pay attention. Yeah. Then we put a this on my chest it covered i kept it on until i got my drains out so i wouldn't have to worry about rubbing it does rub i wore a two two different sweaters for the whole month because i didn't feel comfortable enough to try and put on a t-shirt or anything of the sort because i'm not the best at buying clothing <laughs> Yeah, so they wanted to check to see if my dressing and everything was okay. I got home, everything was good. Um, at the hotel, just be, no, just know that the beds are very fucking squishy, like squish, like probably not the best for after surgery because. It's like sinking into a fucking marshmallow and you're I was scared I was gonna like not be able to get out of the bed because you can't be yanked out of the bed with your arms because you'll die okay you don't die but like it's painful uh, you're you're given okay you're giving you're given four bottles of pills this one is the oxy I did not use it you're given an anti-inflammatory, uh, regular, like, pain meds, and a, uh, 
pills to help you poo if you take the blue ones. Uh, I took the regular pain meds and the uh, anti-inflammatory meds. I did not have to take the orange pills or the blue pills. I do, I do love the bottles that they had because you just like snap this thing in and then it's like, whoop, whoop. yeah. So I like that. If I could like return the pills but keep the bottle, I would. But I don't think they'd let me keep the bottle. Uh, the when you ha if you have drains, you do get these. It, they have right and left on them. I don't know where the left one is. So you measure it has 10, 20, 30, and then you get, you, you're given a sheet of paper with like to keep track of the days. I personally could have had my drains taken out sooner than I did, but I made the appointment for the day that I could get the nipple stuff off and so that I could get the uh, drains taken out. My personal suggestion is do not watch them take the drains out. I watched them take out one. I threw up. Yeah, it was, it was not good. Like, like you, you don't, you don't know how long they are until you see it. Like it was like this. At least that's what I remember. Yeah. Um, you will be scared of your. You have to like empty the tube by pulling on it. It's as long as you're holding it like strong, it will stretch, and that's okay. I was scared of that personally because I'm a chicken. But yeah, I did end up getting to like less than ten, like a few days before. I got my drains out. Like, there's nothing wrong with still having the drains in. So I, it I had surgery on the second. I got my drains and the nipple bandage off on the ninth. I made an appointment. Make the appointment when you leave the doc the the surgery like the day that you leave Montreal if you're leaving from Montreal to get your stuff done just to make sure that you don't forget because that would suck um I got these thinking that it would be you could cut them but they're like shit stick stick with the smaller ones because if you go to Walmart, they're pretty cheap. They come in a pack of 10. I'm pretty sure you can get them from like the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store too. I saw them at the Dollar Store. Well, Dollar Tree. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are like set aside money for after surgery. Because you don't know what you might need more of. But yeah. So these come in a pack of 10. Uh, get tape. But like... I have sensitive skin, so I afterwards, like, here was, like, raw because of it. I had to keep a bandaid on this side. It, this side is flat. My nipple did not buff out or whatever. But this one is raised, like, a normal nipple, like, before surgery. This one, like, was healing a lot slower. I don't think it would have... I have this problem with picking also. Anxiety, yes. It's probably my fault. I don't know if it is my fault, but yeah. It was taking a long time, and I got anxious, and I wanted to see. It's completely okay. I don't, honestly don't care. Um, what else? Um, you be... I, I would say, when you're changing the dressing on your nipples yourself, make sure you're sitting... Because I did stand for a few times, like, at the beginning. And I think on the third... Riley. Why are you all coming in here? Um, when the, the, on the third time I changed the dressing, I did get dizzy. And I was like, whoa. And I had to sit down. 
it was okay. Yeah. So I had my appointment for the nipple drain, the nipples and the drains, and then, like, around the end of the month, that's when I went to the doctor to get the stitch snipped. Make sure to, like, if you feel like you're chill with some, like, infection, I don't know, you can snip it yourself, but I went to the doctor and I had them snip the stitch. They held it with tweezers and snipped because it was poking out of my skin. I've heard that it happens to people. Sometimes the stitch, like, if you hold it with a tweezer, it will come out on its own. Mine did not. My friend had, what, like, at least two, I think, and one came out and one didn't. Um, yeah, so, and then I had here, like I said earlier, I had a blister. I believe it was from the band-aid and the ace bandage rubbing together on my skin, on the scar, and it caused a blister, which was gross and pussy. It was gross. I was be honest. Um, yeah, it was bad. It wasn't that bad. Okay. It didn't hurt or anything. Uh, it did pop before I had my appointment, like the day of my appointment when I was sleeping, when I went to change everything, I saw it, it was like popped and I was like happy. It did have like a concaveness to it, but now it's just flat. There is like a slight discoloration and like different, like all, like, I don't, think of it like a, like a mountain, like a small mountain that just goes, that's like, it's like, um, this. This is the scar, and then there's just like a boop, and then the scar's just flat again. It's not- my scar's not flat at all. Um, yeah. Um, so there was that. Um, I have tried the silicone strips. My skin did not like that. It- I have like eczema and sensitive skin. It itched so bad. Like, I could not handle it. I do have bio oil, and I have, uh, this stuff that I, uh, Palmer's Coconut, Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. Yeah, uh, my, I, like, I did this for, like, I think a month, and then I tried this. This stinks. <laughs> Uh, this stinks. I also have a problem with my hands being gross. So there was that. I do it with my th I do it with my thumb. Like I go I put three drops and then I just rub it on and then to here and then on my nipple on both sides, three drops each side cuz yeah. Um I don't think my skin enjoys any of them. They're supposed to be good for your skin, but my skin says, let's scratch. Yeah, because it just really doesn't enjoy it. Um, nothing, like, completely major changed. I, my, okay, so you see this scar, it's a bit wider than this one, and this one's, like, it's down where this one's like straight. I'm really happy that they did not connect it. I asked the guy not to connect them because I really didn't want that. And I'm happy. He said this most likely I won't do it, but he did. So I'm happy. Um, um, I did feel useless because I'm used to having to do, like for grocery shopping, I'm used to having, having to put the food on the conveyor belt and then put them in the car and stuff I couldn't do that because I couldn't lift the stuff up which is sad it was really sad that I couldn't lift my arms I couldn't pick up my knees which was really sad because I love her and she loves me um there was a good thing that the first month I didn't watch her because sadly COVID made my sister not have work for the month until February or something. Um, I used Polysporin or Neosporin, Polysporin I think. The triple action one for like healing. It was a black one. Uh, I put it on. 
I most likely overdid it with the Polysporin. I don't care. Um, but yeah, they have, it says like for a week and then you leave it. You do it every day. So I put Polysporin, the bandit over top, taped it. You could, if you have the smaller ones, you could just tape it in, in the middle of it. So it's just attached to, so it's just like covering your nipple, depending on how big your nipple is too. Mine aren't, mine are like, not like males, like, like common dude, pretty boy nipples, at least to me, but they're my nipples, I love them. Um, but yeah, they're not like small like this, they're more like, like this to me, at least to me, I don't know, I don't measure them. Um, so there was that. Um, but it says to like only use it for a week, I think. I didn't care. I felt anxious. So slather, slather, slather. Um, there will be pulling. Like if you, like I had trouble getting out of my bed. Like make sure that your bed's not on the ground. Cause my bed's on the ground and I had to f work, figure out ways to get off the bed. I found that putting on pants wasn't as hard as some people say. Um, I did try and put on a shirt once. It did not go well. I was scared I was stuck. Yeah. And then my mom tried helping me put on a shirt. I did not like that. I My anxiety said that it was not the right time to try wearing a sh shirt. The sweater did end up irritating me because it felt like it was just chafing my skin. I do find that my armpits are more sensitive, like where my scar is, for shirts, and some shirts just don't feel right on my skin anymore. Well, I never wore a shirt, shirt like, braless. Yes. Um, yeah. So, it just, some textures don't feel right. Yeah. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section or whatever I will answer what I can because I don't know if I forgot anything I think okay I I stopped wearing the band-aid at four weeks instead of a full month because I knew that the bandage was like upsetting my skin I did continue wearing the band-aid on my nipple after I took the ace bandage off from most of my, from the two friends that I have who have had top surgery from the place, and they had it at the same day, they both took the ace bandage off before a month, and they're both okay. Uh, if you think there's a problem, talk to your doctor. Don't listen to people who say go talk to your surgeon unless your surgeon is like easily accessible talk to like your family doctor or like a doctor that helped you get top surgery because then it's less stressful for you because I felt weird about just emailing them hey so there's this weird thing about my scar because I am uh, anxious so I just waited and made an appointment with my family doctor because I know that they could help yeah, and then, yeah, I think I waited five to six weeks before picking up my niece. I'm not 100% sure. I know it was at least after a month. Uh, might have been too soon. I don't know. She didn't feel like it was tugging on me or anything. I think everything was good. I don't know what made my scar here, like, wider. But I don't care because I don't actually go. I don't. I care about having a flat chest with shirts. I don't care. I don't go anywhere shirtless ever. I don't. I don't. I'm never in my room shirtless. And there's my cat. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah. So, everything did work out well. Everything ended well. They okay. So they okay. For food. That's something I didn't mention. Food. You get. Um, for every meal, I believe, like, 
$25 for this chicken place. My sister says it wasn't that good. She got it once, I think, for the, maybe twice, for the night, for, for what, she got it when I was in my surgery. Um, and then there's also these, like, breakfast baggies that they give you, but you have to go to the desk to get it. It, it was okay. There's, like, options. Uh, I didn't really care for most of the stuff in it. I ate the muffin because I didn't, I hadn't eaten early since the day before my surgery. <laughs> um, they tell you to shave your chest and I shave, like, all the way to my, uh, past my belly button to where my pants lay when I was showering. They asked you to shower. I did, I shaved. I do, I got in there and I had, I have razors. So I just shaved. I, they didn't specifically say to nair, but yeah. Um, don't eat the day after midnight, I believe, at the day of the surgery. Uh, they, no one made sure that I went to the bathroom, I think. I, I did, I, after my surgery, like, at least an hour or so before I left, I did go to the bathroom. I was pretty fast, because my body bounces back, I guess. Um, my throat did hurt a little, not that much. I know that this video is all over the place, I'm sorry. Um, do you need to touch my underwear? Styles. God. <sighs> yeah. Um. So they tell you, to, okay, for the video call, they tell you to get this, like, it's, my sister brought her iPad thingy, and we got the app or whatever, and they give you a thingy that tells you what time they're going to have the appointment and everything. Mine was at 11, in, like, 11 p.m. I did not sleep the night before, okay, I... On the drive there, I slept most of it. The night of my surgery, I did not sleep. I was awake from when we got there to after my surgery. I got I got to the hotel. I slept an hour. I did not sleep the rest of that night. I was awake through the whole night on my phone. Like a loser. Um, yeah. Also, they have a safe if you have anything valuable that you don't want touched. I left my phone and everything. Just, there's like a, a cupboard thingy that's like attached to the wall. Yeah. Um, what else? I think that's it. If I... I don't think that I've missed anything. They gave you a hair knit, hair net, and these like you know like in the scary movie thingy, no, the, the detective shows when there's like a lot of blood, blood and stuff that were like just don't step on like evidence. Those like booties, <laughs> they gave you those, and yeah. I also did dip the uh, gown string in the toilet when I was going to the bathroom after my surgery. So I dipped a lot of stuff in the toilet water. <laughs> yeah, it was embarrassing. No one knows, except for you guys now, whoever watches this. But yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below. You can find me on Small Crow with one L or two Ls, I don't know, um, on Instagram ask me anything and I will most likely tell you this is what my chest does look like I am very happy with it my nipples do not match but I'm okay with that it's what happens sometimes but I'm okay with it it's only been four months it'll change okay bye
subscribe if you want, I don't care.